because there's so little interest even in the church in the Lordship of Christ. It's been replaced by the idea of a personal relationship with Jesus. By the way, everyone has a personal relationship with Jesus and with most, it's not very good. He will be their judge. To say someone has a personal relationship with Jesus is just too vague. What you need to say is Jesus is Lord and I am his slave, the object of his love. That's a God-centered understanding of Christianity, not a man-centered one. Jesus said in John 13, 13, you call me teacher and Lord and you are right for so I am. Being a Christian is confessing Jesus as Lord in full dedication to obedient submission to him and to his will. Again, back to 15th chapter and verse 10. If you keep my commandments, you'll abide in my love just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Listen. You are obedient to the Son as the Son is obedient to the Father. The Lord is referred to 92 times in the book of Acts. Two times he's called Soter, Savior. 90 times he's called Lord. And he is called Lord to designate his absolute rulership. Absolute dominion. He is a slave owner. And any denial of that is heresy. Heresy. I've tried to help people understand that in the book, The Gospel According to Jesus, The Gospel According to the Apostles, The Gospel According to Paul and other books. People seem afraid to call people to submit to the Lordship of Christ. 